guys, so today I wanted to bring you a video on back to school wardrobe staples or wardrobe essentials. And I know this school starts earlier for some than others, so I wanted to get this out to you. Um, but even if you're not going to school, maybe you're just a busy person, this is either back to school or busy person wardrobe essentials and must haves. Um, just some things that I think are absolutely essential. And the reason that I say either busy person or um, back to school is because these are kind of formulated for comfort, but still looking chic and cute. Um, so the first thing that I would recommend are plain colored t-shirts. And I personally am an avid lover of like these bright patterns and prints and graphic tees, but the problem is if you want to wear those anything other than jeans or a block color pant, it can be a little bit difficult. Um, let's say that you want to wear like a really fun colored printed skirt. It's a little bit difficult to pull off with another printed top. Um, so what I would recommend are big t-shirts just like these three. I kind of feel like the American flag or the British flag or both actually. But I don't because it's not white, it's tan. These shirts are absolutely amazing and they're also very, very comfortable. And with these, let's say that you wanted to wear a patterned skirt, no problem. Let's say that you wanted to wear this with just a plain pair of jeans, no problem. Um, there's just a ton of different ways to completely dress these up. Now, the reason that I love these so much, these are from Style Mint and you guys know that these are like fair trade items or whatever, so they're not manufactured like, you know, improperly. Um, the other thing is that they are very, very loose. Sometimes I like to get mine a size to too big. Um, these both run a little bit large on me because I really like the flowy texture. Um, it's perfect for fall. It's perfect for even summer too. Whoopsies. Um, but they're very, very comfortable that way as well. And also if you're sweating during the summer, they don't make you even sweatier, if you know what I mean, since they're not skin tight. This one right here is a little bit tighter. This one's from Stylement as well. But even the material is just so breathable that it doesn't cause me a lot of that sweat. Um, and what's great about Stylement also is the price. They can be a little bit expensive if you buy them full price, but if you buy them on sale, they're really not that bad. Um, I'll see if I can find you guys a link or not, but if not, you can just Google search one. Um, but also, even if they're not from Stylement, just any plain colored t-shirt that is light, that is airy, and that doesn't really make you sweat or cling to your body too much is a really great option. And just these block color go with so many different patterns, so many different jewelries, and ex so many different accessories. Um, they are definitely a must-have for back to school. And you guys can see, you can get different v-necks and cuts depending on what kind of a shape your body is or what kind of shape you guys like. The next back to school wardrobe essential is a cute pair of flats. And when I was in school, I love heels. You guys know that, but I don't wear heels to college and I didn't really wear them to school much either. I was either tennis shoes or flats. And a cute pair of flats is definitely much more um, much more chic and put together than just a cute pair of tennis shoes, in my opinion. Um, so a basic wardrobe staple would be a really awesome pair of flats. If you get nude ones, they might make your legs look longer if you're in shorts or a skirt. Um, but even underneath jeans, just these little tiptoes poking out are so cute. Little ballerina flats like this. Also, they're comfortable. You're not in heels all day. And flats are generally more comfortable than flip-flops as well. Flip-flops don't have as much support. Now, flats don't have a ton of support, not nearly as much as tennis shoes. But, what, but what's nice about flats is that you can add arch support. You can put a little bit in here if you need to. Um, uh, whereas with flip-flops you can't really do that. So a good pair of flats is not only very, very practical, but they are very, very chic. And there are so many different styles. Like I love these. I got these ages ago, but they're one of my go-to shoes. Um, just something like this is a must-have. The next back-to-school staple kind of goes with these bigger shirts, and they are these bright, bold, beautiful accessories. And accessories are pretty freaky and amazing because they can either make or break a look. If you're wearing a super patterny t-shirt or something like that, obviously you're not going to want to wear a necklace like this because it's going to bounce off that pattern and look just busy and uncoordinated but with a plain t-shirt like this or even like these other hi there <laughs> it just keeps falling off the hanger with a plain t-shirt like this or with a plain t-shirt um, like some of these other ones that I've shown just putting a necklace on makes the entire difference right here this outfit looks casual and cute if I put this on all of a sudden it gives it a whole new look this is just one necklace that I showed you guys in an accessory video a while ago. I think this is beautiful for summer. If you do want to do something a little bit more fall or a little bit more crazy, you could go for some great earrings such as these. Uh, these are just so fun. They're a huge statement piece. Obviously not with this headband, but they're big and they're loud and they're boisterous. Um, these are from Icing and they were on sale, but these big pieces can really just spruce up an otherwise boring look. And you guys can see this accessory makes it look much more professional and poised rather than, you know, just a bright loud accessory if you want to look kind of spiffy and put together. 
Uh, but there are so many different options when it comes to jewelry. And you guys know my love relationship with these. These are from um, Jewel Mint, and these unfortunately were full price, um, but you guys can find discount codes. But these are the Sugar Plum Fairy Drop Magical Earrings, and I love these so much. Um, I know they look crazy in my hands, but when you wear them, they look amazing. This is just like another example of how great these colors play off of anything. Um, and that's why it's so essential to have both the plain shirts and these. The next wardrobe staple that you need to have is a great, comfortable, casual pair of jeans. Generally a boot cut or something like that, but bottom line, you want them to be something that will go with anything. Don't go for things that have rips or patterns or paint, because as fun as those are, they can be a little bit difficult to pull off with everything. It may take some searching, it may take some time, but find a pair of pants that fits you like a glove. Um, you guys know for me I'm a bit taller, I have a bit more of a non-proportional body, I guess. I do have to go for like different brands and styles because some of those work better on me than other jeans. Um, so find something that works for you. But what's great about these is that you can wear them with some of these shirts and look great. You can wear them with accessories and look great. You can wear jackets or pullovers or even sweatshirts and you look fantastic. As long as the jean fits your body, it's gonna look great on you. Um, you don't want it to be too tight. I know a lot of people shop because of the size. Don't do that because if the size is too tight, who cares if you're a size four? If it's too tight, you're going to be bulging over the top and you're going to look bigger than you actually are. Let's say you're naturally a size 10. If you wear the size 10 instead of the size six, you're going to look 100 times better. Um, you also wanna make sure that they fit you in the length just so that way they're not too long and dragging on the ground or anything like that. If you want, you can get them hemmed. But these are kind of like my go-to jeans. I absolutely love these. Um, and you can get styles that run longer or shorter depending on your body type. And very last but not least, one of the biggest tips I have is a cute little cardigan. Um, and obviously for cold weather, this is more essential than for warm weathered areas. But even in warm weather, things can kind of get a little bit chilly, especially since it's fall. And I know I said especially. Guys, does it really bother you that much? Because I know it's especially, but I've always said especially. So... I know a lot of people comment about that. I hope it's not that big of an issue. Also, caramel, like that you eat. I used to call it carminal when I was little, like criminal and carminal mixed together. I like saying carminal better than I like saying caramel. So, I don't know, hate me for it. Or mayonnaise. I like to say mayonnaise, not mayonnaise. Like, tell me, is it, is it really that big of an issue? But especially since fall is going to be coming around the corner. Um, you want to have something really cute like this. And not only does this keep you warm, but you guys can kind of see it's almost like a little fashion statement within itself because of the detail. If you, again, wore it with one of these really plain shirts, it would totally dress it up and look amazing. Um, so having some of these cardigans and layering pieces are great to spruce up something that's otherwise boring and practical to keep you warm. So those are my back to school wardrobe essentials and things that I would recommend for you guys or people that are busy and on the go that still want to look fabulous. Um, so if you guys have other staples and other essentials that I didn't talk about here, be sure to post them in the comments or leave a video response showing me like your back to school outfit. Um, and I hope this helped you and I cannot wait to talk to you all soon. <sighs> Love you guys. Bye.